In this teaching tip video, you will learn about the Study Power Hour and how to evaluate your study effort so that you can effectively teach them in your own courses. We will cover six different aspects of the Study Power Hour and then how to evaluate your study effort, choosing the best time and place to study, deciding on a study target, establishing a study action, studying with a purpose, reviewing what you've done, recharging so that you can manage your energy levels, and evaluating your study effort. Let's get started, shall we? Number one, choosing the best time and place to study. Before students begin their study period, they will want to make sure that it is at a time and place free of distractions, while at the same time, stimulating to their learning process. Number two, deciding on a study target. Before students begin their study period, they should prioritize what is important now and focus on that. For example, are they reading a couple of chapters? Are they creating study questions or reviewing their notes? Number three, establishing a study action. Students should ask themselves how they can break down their study tasks and decide on what actions they must take in order to meet their study targets. In other words, what specific actions are they taking in order to complete their study targets? Number four, studying with a purpose. How are students studying with a purpose? This period is focused attention on the study target that they set. This is where they read or quiz themselves for 30 minutes. Number five, reviewing what you've done. Before students finish their study power hour, they should review what they've done. They should ask themselves if they've accomplished what they set out to do and what comes next. This is an honest self-check-in to see if the strategy that they used worked. If needed, they can adjust for the next time. And number six, recharging so that you can manage your energy levels. Before students begin their next study power hour, they should take at least a 10 minute break so that they can manage their energy levels by recharging in a timely manner. They can go outside, take a walk, and find a way to decompress. They should keep a log of how they performed their study power hour so that they can use it to review and plan their next one. Now it's time for them to evaluate how well they did using the worksheet called Evaluate Your Study Effort. This is where they assess how well they did with each of the steps in the study power hour. Now that we know what the study power hour is, let's turn our focus on how to complete one. Have students work alone first to complete their own study power hour. Then, have students pair up and review each step of the model. Partners should ask questions to review so as to make sure their partner met their study goal. Here are some questions that partners can use to facilitate learning. Is the target achievable? Why or why not? Does the study action match what the learner wants to do during studying with a purpose? Is there too little planned for studying with a purpose? Is there too much planned for studying with a purpose? Will the break time recharge the learner? Why or why not? What options did the learner overlook? What would you add or change? In this video, we covered six different aspects of the study power hour and how to evaluate your study effort, choosing the best time and place to study, deciding on a study target, establishing a study action, studying with a purpose, reviewing what you've done, and recharging so that you can manage your energy levels and evaluate your study effort. Now that you know more about the study power hour and how to evaluate your study effort, you should be better prepared to teach them in your courses. Good luck.